This is still extremely godlike. <laughs> YouTube, my cousin. Uh, <laughs> oh, we, we got him? We got him? Yeah, we got him. I almost single gunned it. All right, I got a double. Double okay. gun. Pew, yeah, pew, yeah, pew. Yeah, yeah. What's up, YouTubes? <laughs> I'm Diasa. My name's Russell. All right, so, boom. Quick story time. This guy. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> so there was somebody else that I hit up for the freezer tattoo because I really wanted to start a sleeve and for some reason they were like they just stopped responding to me I think I told you you probably don't remember but they stopped responding to me like two weeks before my birthday showed up for the tattoo so I googled top five anime artists in America oh. and you were number no. two maybe at the time have you seen the stuff lately <laughs> 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 Yeah, did you know you were number two? Um, I pay no attention to lists. Oh, okay. If I'm on a list, I have no idea. These things in and out, like, hey, I saw you on this Reddit, whatever. I'm like, cool, all right. <laughs> well, he was number two, and okay. he was the only one that responded to me. And I was like, hey, man, you know, my last artist pulled out. I really wanted to get Frieza on my arm. It's my 30th birthday, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. And he was like, fuck yeah, bro. Dude, dude it's Frieza, hell yeah. Like, okay. like, right on. <laughs> Absolutely. And then, so the second one was the Ryuk tattoo. Yeah. He put it on his, his uh, Instagram and was like, hey, who wants to get this tattooed? And I was like, this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then, boom. Got and then, Chun Lee, you guys wouldn't even know who I was if it wasn't for this character. So, <laughs> yeah. So, my question okay. for you a few questions. Okay. How long have you been tattooed? Oh, uh, I started in 2014, 2013. So, does that make it like eight, nine years? Really? Something like that. Dang. So now the studio, the studio is gorgeous. Bro. Yes, like, yes. We're in the, this is the Demon Slayer room you said, right? This is the Demon Slayer booth, yes. Yeah. This so is one of our tattoo booths here. This one is ridiculous. What was this, like the theme, like what, or the thought process behind building this studio? A, a lot of tattoo places out there will claim they want to deliver an experience, mm -hmm. but you walk in, there's some chairs, some cool shit on the wall, a bathroom in the back, maybe a front counter. Mm -hmm. Um, and for, for whatever reason, that just didn't feel like an experience to me anytime I went into a shop. Mm. So I wanted to create a place, especially being in Orlando, Florida, like, yeah, yeah, we're absolutely. surrounded by theme parks. Like, <laughs> why not create the theme park of tattoo studios? Mm. So, you know, when you first walk into the, to the studio, there's this black room, there's black windows, you have no idea what the fuck's going on. Wait, can I swear? Am I allowed? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? Um, no idea what the fork is going on. <laughs> yeah, nah, and then, um... So then you walk in, you're disoriented, and then someone pops through a curtain and scares the crap out of you. And you're like, what the? Oh my god, am I in the right spot? Yes! And all of that is by design. It's, you're supposed to get disoriented. You're like, where am I? What's going on? And then you, you pull that curtain, and you get that first, like, whoa. Yeah. And you're so, like, I, I wanted to deliver that whoa. Even before you talked about your design, before you met your artist, before you did anything, I wanted you to walk in and be like, this place is awesome. Yeah. Even if you ended up, like, leaving, you just stopped by. You wanted to walk away and be like, dude. Well, that was cool. Yeah, absolutely. So that that was the, like the the main drive behind the studio was to create an experience. Now the the hidden speakeasy. Ah yes. Why? If you if you know you know. <laughs> Why? What was um, the? So the the original intent behind that was tattoo shops are open from like eleven to eight. Yeah. You're closed for sixteen hours of the day. Yeah. Like that makes sense. If, if you have the space, what can you do to have people come by? hang out longer like or even if you don't want to get tattooed like you know with the smaller spaces you have you your friend in a little spot there you are mm -hmm. i don't know if you sat with someone getting tattooed but that shit is boring <laughs> like you watch them they make their face ha 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 that's funny and then you're shit six hours of just like yeah are you done yeah so Absolutely. you know creating just a, a space to go hang out have mm -hmm. fun bring your homies like so if, if we become more of a destination to bring your friends you're more apt to know who we are um, talk positively about us and, and enjoy yourself. Mm. You know, it's it's fun. Sounds dope to me. Yeah. Um, the other thing, so anime tattoos. You have the patch tattoo. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you do the the, the water coloring Dude, and the patch tattoos? So it's literally anytime I see something that looks like fun, I feel like trying it. Like mm. I follow my passions as my interests change, move. So it started with watercolor. You know, the sketchy, the looseness, the watercolor. I liked the yeah, freedom weird. of it. And then, you know, uh, some anime artists that I, I kind of saw and I was like, man, this, this, this whole, like they're taking traditional stuff, but adding, you know, new school flares and like, you know, and then watching anime growing up, running home from the bus stop, trying to catch Dragon Ball Z. Absolutely. Or like, you know, just getting on like you know, Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z every day. Mm -hmm. God, I remember like recording it, pausing my television and like tracing the TV 
Like Whoa. anime, anime was one of the first Whoa. things that I just loved. <laughs> yeah. You know, really, really dialing it in and realizing like the potential of tattooing and what you can create overall. And like these, these anime pieces are fucking mind boggling. Ridiculous. You have to see the other stuff that he's so, done. Like, I know you like mine, but. Oh, I'm not even talking about me. Like, I, I feel <laughs> the people out there, it's just like, whoa. <laughs> You guys are inspiring as fuck. Like, I want to try that. Like, that looks like fun. Like, yeah. It looks like they had a good time creating that. Mm -hmm. So if, if they had a good time, maybe I will too. It's pretty dope. I, I like everything that you've done. Mm -hmm. But my question for you is, what is your favorite piece that you've done? I, I try to make every tattoo that I do that day my favorite one. Okay. Because it, it's your favorite one. Yeah. You know, ideally, like, I'm going to create your favorite tattoo that you have. And that makes me happy. Yeah. So looking back, like there's some like landmark pieces where like you learned a certain thing or you executed something really well, or you know like oh man that's when I fell in love with the the little water drops on the bug. Yeah, like, yeah. That's where I figured out how to do the sketchy lines properly. And like <laughs> oh man that's when I learned that that's one of my favorite tattoo ink colors. And like there's like different moments that make it a favorite. I don't know if it's like a collective like oh that's the one. Okay. But well for me so uh, when your booking process you always pick you always say to pick. Uh, ones that you've done that kind of match with what I want, right? Yeah. So on each each time I do it, there's a specific Ganon tattoo that you did. Yeah, oh, I know. The you Ganon one. On your last one. Yeah, 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 the Ganon one fun. blows my that mind. Every time I see it, I'm like, that yeah, little Ganon. sinister smile. Yeah. Like, like that so one, and then the the one from Avatar, the um the one that could blood bend. Hama. Yeah. yeah Hama. <laughs> Yeah, this actually, before it was a Demon Slayer booth, this was Hama's oddities. Mm. So, Hama, Hama's my, yeah. my girl. She's you, fucking crazy. You snap on those tattoos, like, super snap. Yeah. So, final thing, what are we working on today? We are... Can I show, can I show pictures? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. So, I don't know if you know this dude. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, today's going to be fun. We are going to hurt his inner arm. He's not... I'm not ready. like it. I'm not ready. He won't like me during, but he'll like me at the end. So that's that's what matters. As long as you like me at the end of it, we're good. Absolutely. So it's uh, it's gonna be cool. We we zoomed in. We're gonna focus on the face. Just let that 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 expression happen because it's a pretty pivotal moment in the story. He so, knows. He knows. Yeah. If you know, you know. We reacted to Berserk. Uh, almost a year ago. It's been that long already. Yeah. Okay. Ever since we finished, I was like, bro, I'm getting a guts tattoo. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. And there's yeah. no way that I could finish my sleeve with anything else but guts here at this shop. Yeah. So now it's finally happening. It's happening. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's All do right, this, homie. Cool. Uh, let them know where they can find you. Um, yeah, so the, the shop Arlia Tattoo is located in Orlando, Florida. We are right outside the Florida Mall. Anyone can stop by. You don't have to have a tattoo appointment. Come. We will give you a tour. We'll let you see every one of our booths. Um, they are meant to immerse you, not just have cool shit on the walls. Um, there, there's a couple of wow moments. Come check it out if you're in the town. Come stop by. And your your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram. Um, I, I go by Find Your Smile on Instagram. Uh, Find Your Smile tattoos on TikTok. That's kind of. Oh, you have a TikTok? I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm ticking the talks. I'm talking the ticks. Oh man, I yeah. Didn't find, I didn't uh, even know how to follow it. That's where the attention is. So I, I gotta just it, it's fun. It's simple. You know, throwing up little videos. I've learned so much. Yeah. I don't know if you like woodworking and like <laughs> like these fucking like blacksmiths making cool shit and then like Karen's like getting what's coming to them and getting arrested and you know, and then all of a sudden you're just like it's been six hours and you're like, what the fuck happened? It's, really it's insane, man. It's insane. <laughs> well so, thank you. Yep. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna do a little time lapse so you can yeah. see it happening. Uh you'll see my face and <laughs> Well, how sad yeah. I am, and yeah. I'll, I'll take some pictures of his face. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to, we'll still shot it in there for you if we can. But I appreciate y'all stopping by. Check out the B roll. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Damn, that's gonna be sick, you man. Hate me. <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, you see his face? <laughs> That's gonna be so sick.